Hello humans, today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous Nigerian style fried rice which is technically not fried rice. Nigerian fried rice is technically steamed rice because we don't actually fry the rice but it is gorgeous, it's delicious, it is flavorful and I'm just going to be showing you how to make yours. So we are starting with washed rice, thoroughly washed and I'm adding my seasoning curry, thyme, seasoning cube and some salt so i'm stirring that thoroughly into the rice to make sure the rice is fully coated with the seasoning now i've added in pepper and onion you can adjust the pepper to your preference if it's too much you can reduce the quantity then i added in some oil and then i'm just going to pan fry that for two to three minutes it doesn't have to pan fry for so long you can opt to add the oil at the beginning before adding uh, your rice and your pepper and the onions I chose to do it the other way around because um, I'm not going to really fry it to be honest with you it's going to steam rather than fry okay so I'm just stirring that in and then I've added in some well seasoned meat stock then I'm adding a little bit of water just enough water to cover the surface of the rice it's not supposed to be a lot of rice because like I said it's a steaming a cooking method so I've added in bay leaves I'm covering that top and we're going to fry our vegetables so I'm starting with sausage I'm going to pan fry the sausage for a few minutes some people use liver some people use even chicken but I'm opting for sausages so after that fries for a bit i'm adding in my veggies some carrots some green pepper some sweet corn you can add whatever veggies that you like and to that i added in a little bit of salt and some garlic and ginger powder i'm not seasoning it so much because my rice is already well seasoned and my meat stock had a lot of seasoning in that so i don't want to overpower this so i've just pan fried that for about two to three minutes and then i've taken that off the heat and my rice is done that's about 20 to 25 minutes the rice is done so that i'm then adding the fried veggies and then i'm just going to stir that in the advantage of frying your veggies a little bit also helps you maintain the color actually and then you know sometimes when fried rice you make fried rice and then it goes off quickly if you fry your veggies in advance before pouring it into the rice it also helps with the longevity of that so after I've mixed that in I'm adding about a tablespoon of butter it's completely optional you don't have to do it but I am adding a little bit of butter because it gives it more flavor and it just gives it that lovely shine okay I'm using unsalted butter now if you use salted butter you will have to adjust the amount of salt that you put in your rice so that it doesn't get too salty so you just stir that thoroughly and make sure it is lovely and nice and well combined and that is how to make Nigerian style fried rice so here I'm just dishing my rice into the bowl serving a large portion <laughs> ah this was such a delicious rice to make it was so yummy so I'm just serving that into the bowl and adding some fried plantain which is usually a lovely side dish to it and two pieces of lovely roasted chicken I have a recipe of that you can check it on my channel and that's basically Nigerian style fried rice done so I'm just going to taste that for you and let you know absolutely gorgeous thanks for watching bye